Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. We are in the demo scene of my latest science fiction pack, the computer station. I will show you how to use the spline tool included in the package so that you can create scenes with high poly cables in any shape you want and supported by nanites. As you can see, the scene is full of cables on the ceiling, on the floor, and on the props. I will show you how to create them. Let's go to the blueprint folder. There are two cable models. They have the same mesh and a different texture. The classic cable, which is here, and the energy cable, which is emission. I will work with the classic cable. I drag and drop it into the scene. This spline is manipulable like a mesh. You can move it in the same way. I click on the JK to make uh, the tangents appear, here and here. I can manipulate them independently by clicking on them, like this. Or I can click on a tangent and uh, then hold down the ADD key. This will extrude the base mesh in a new direction and create a new tangent. I then repeat the same manipulation. This type of spline is perfect for complex parts. You can place them as you wish. I'm going to position my cable better, because at the moment, it doesn't make sense. You can place it very, very, very precisely. Here I'm missing a point, so I'll use the Alt key to create a new one. I can also use tangents to change the angles. Sorry for the time, but I would like to propose you something realistic, because it's the role of this hyperly spline. Here, I respect the relief of the ground. Okay, I can delete the unnecessary points. A 
perfect. I stop here for our example. It's realistic. The floor and other cables are taken into account. To change the texture of the cable, when it's a spline, go to the blueprint. Construction script. Here, you can change the material. With this plane, the mesh is reproduced every centimeter in order to have a nice curve. The smart materials included in the pack allow you to have a basic texture layer, like plastic for example, and two layers to superpose on top, like dirt and dust. I recommend not activate the two layers because the rendering is not very interesting on this type of spline. I reassure you, an ultra high poly pack of cables will be available soon. Okay, now we will optimize this scene. Splines are not supported by nanite and lumen does not work well with them either. We will fix that. As can be seen here, there are no nanite managed triangles on the cables because they are splines. It's easy. Just click on the spline. You can select several at the same time if you wish. And go to Tools and Merge Actors. At the bottom of the settings list, check the Generate Nanites and replace Source Actor boxes to replace the spline with the new mesh. Click on Merge Actor and choose the folder where your new mesh will be placed. Also, give it a name. We have our new mesh. It's in the file I chose. It was the properties of a classic mesh now. The material assigned to it is here. And now, let's check the Nanit support. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, I leave you here. I hope you enjoyed creating your science fiction scenes with uh, this new iPoly pack. Don't hesitate to like the video, it will help me a lot. And if you like the universe I'm proposing, then why not subscribe? A lot of content will be coming soon on the channel and on the Unreal Marketplace. Okay, so bye and see you soon!